Good morning from uh, Gillette, Wyoming. My understanding the uh, special guests are less than two hours away and it happens to be snowing where they are. At least that's the rumor I got. Hey, uh, Tim. You're up. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What are we talking about? I don't know. I don't know. We ain't got there yet this morning. Uh, what has been said so far? Uh, good morning. Wyoming, and uh, our special guests are less than two hours away, and from our understanding, they are uh, in the snow right now. Yep, yeah, that's the word I got about 20 minutes ago. And, uh, hopefully, that does not come here because I do not feel like laying in the snow again for however long it was turning into a popsicle. Uh, that would not be good. Uh, how are you this morning, Kenny? I'm feeling all right. Feeling good? Yeah, can't complain. Warm. On the brink of a little too warm, <laughs> where it turns into sweat and turns around and goes right back into ice, and then hypothermia sets in. You, know, you can't trust the weather. Man. It's supposed to be 60 all week. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about from yesterday. So we get up this morning dressed in layers. Don't make it out of the house before you have heat stroke. Right? <laughs> well, we back out an eventful uh, yesterday. Yeah, we probably need to recap a little bit because we didn't do a video because these have been some late nights. Oh, with you. I'll start. <laughs> yeah. I started yesterday. I'm just hanging out. You and the spotter. Yeah. Be excited. We got one buck down. Uh, actually, that was the shooting point of from the top of the side by side. Oh, yes, we do have video evidence of that. Yep. Right over that knoll. It was this one. Yeah, you shooting off. Yeah, I was shooting off yours. Yeah, that's what I thought. And uh, didn't go 20. No, no, no. Never heard it coming. Matter of fact, there were four bucks there. One of them didn't care. The other three were sparring around the thing, and they just kind of stopped and looked. Like, hey, Bob, you're supposed to be riffing this match up here. What are you laying down for? Yeah. Yeah, we got to give a shout out to the Yankee Hill Suppressors. Yes, yes, yes. Pretty yeah. sweet. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Very sweet. Wait, no one to come in. It's my turn to at least apply to get one. Yeah. Waiting on mine to come in. I've done everything other than the, you know, checks in the mail kind of deal. Yeah. Uh, wind picked up on us after that. It was pretty gusty. We hit out behind the uh, windbreaker with the cattle that weren't in there yet. But Thank God. Yeah. Right track, we'd have been in trouble. We'd have been in big trouble. Big trouble, yeah. Uh, you went back to uh, skin yours out. Mike and I went another round. Uh, so, you know, I think. Actually, let's see, we set up on the, the gigantic guy for a while and pulled a heck of a stop on him, but he, uh, he's smart. And let's, uh, yeah, so that was earlier. Yes. When I went back, got it, you did that. No, 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 you were with us in the morning. Oh, and that, yes, yes, yes. I was saying, when I went back is when y'all decided to turn your comms off, and I'm trying to holler at you. Yeah, that was, no, that was. 200 when yards we, away. When we set up on the big guy, went through the wash and all that, was pulling the stalk, and they went way out of sight and put three sentinels on top of the highest peak back here watching over us. Yeah, 2,000 yards away. I try to forget that memory from yesterday. Yeah, evidently. Me too, because he was right there. Yeah, but oh, didn't he, you go on another little journey yesterday? I did go on another little journey. Mike and I went on another little journey uh, after you went back to uh, skinning quarter and saw absolutely nothing anywhere until the very, very, very back corner of the property. Three does tried to set up on them. Kept moving and they kept moving and they kept moving. And Kenyon gave me and Mike a uh, 30 second tutorial on the Kestrel last year. I think he was speaking Spanish because it didn't work like he told us it was going to work. You only had one button to push. I, well, I pushed it and then I pushed every other damn button on there too and none of them did what I wanted it to do. I, I think it's in meals now. Yeah. <laughs> it's in Portuguese by the time I'm done with it. I pushed a whole bunch of buttons and none of them did anything except for get me to a setting menu, which I'm not supposed to be at. <laughs> That's why it's in Portuguese now. Uh, but no, a little bit of uh, uh, ranging, three shots, 620, yep, six, got them to move out a little further, 775, they acted like, what was that? 880 yards in the wind, a little Kentucky windage, because we don't know how to operate the Kestrel, because we're not very smart. And we put one down at 880 yards, and that's a half a mile. 
do the math? I have. Well, you just do the math for everybody so they don't have to. <laughs> yeah, but some people want to check yours like I check yours all the time. <laughs> so after that, I sent the boys out to eat and make their rounds because it might cost a glove again. Imagine that. How many gloves did you go buy? Did you get the ten back? This year you lost the uh, the right hand. Yep, lost, no, I lost the left this year. Last year I lost the right. Somebody out here has a magic pair. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just uh, do my part to help out. We spent hours cleaning all the red dirt, red mud kicked out of bugs, eyeballs, ears. That's pretty much why we can't do a post hunt interview because we're there trying to <clears throat> breathe. Yeah, yeah. This is sound like a bunch of cats hacking up fur balls. <laughs> <laughs> nope, don't worry, I got it. <laughs> yep, we're good. Yep. So we're back at it this morning. Uh, I think the special guests are, uh, I don't know, I guess they're up and moving. I haven't checked yet, but if y'all know about it. should have called them at 5 30. Sure. I debated it. Yeah, rise and shine. Good morning. You're not far away. I miss you so much. Hurry up. Go home. I'd, I'd have dove across the table, swiped the phone out of your hand. <laughs> I told y'all. I told both of you. Or drop a different pin. I was worried about y'all's too. And I was going to have to sleep in the shanty. Because <laughs> I would be afraid for my life. <laughs> uh, we'll try to get some more video today. Yeah. It's been very scarce with the uh, stalkage that we've been doing. Uh, the wind's picked up and it's cold. So get back at it. <laughs> What'd you say? We are. Uh, we are gloved we're down. We're back again. We're gloved down again. <laughs> and I think we just ended the last video 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yep, gloved down. I went to go put on my my liners, and at some point in time, the wind must have took it. As it, I came over here to talk about a video, so I'm have to go back for a video review. And see if I can see. Uh, Blowing down the red dirt road right there. Wow. You know what? Found the glove. Where or, was it? It was uh, underneath the binos inside the pouch. Don't know how the hell that happened. But that's okay because it was safe, right? But it was contained. So disaster averted. <coughs> We're for now. green for gear, ready to go. And just to verify, we are hour and a half in this morning literally happened right after the first video ended so that's a good start hey hand me that tape we're gonna tape the things on it <laughs> yep. well it really doesn't have to be like a champ i was well, like well, 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 well i know where this is going you know well, we, we officially have our guest well, <laughs> the special guest have arrived <laughs> i wish you could tell that story one more time <laughs> so I was on the plane and the guy next to me was like looking around and like digging around for something and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? You know, so he takes his drinks, he's like, can I put them on your tray? I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I finally was like, what are you looking for? And he's like, my tooth. And I was like, <laughs> so I was digging around my thighs and my cooter to make sure my cooter didn't grab the fucking tooth. Because it happens. This is not going on YouTube now. Yeah. Oh, I can't do that? Yes. I didn't remember see. Remember my tooth. <laughs> oh, oh, your kids watch it? We got to edit this. Splice yeah. that. All right. Oh, and so then, when he said two, so I'm Love picturing, I'm picturing a white two, right? A crown. And then he goes crawling around, and he comes up with a denture with a gum on it. And I'm like, oh. So then he's like, I'm so sorry. This is so embarrassing. And I was like, it's okay. It happens. And then instantly, I was like, fuck. Well, really, it doesn't happen. But, you know, it's the first for everything. You know, don't worry about it. And I had my water there, because he was sitting there. Listen to it. Blowing it wasn't, it wasn't clean. He was blowing shit off it. So I was like, you want to use my water? It was like... Back. It was a lot. It was so much. Like, so much. Someone <laughs> stepped on it. It was bad. I was like, so I took my water. He had his little cup, and I poured my water, and he put the things in there, and they were floating. And the whole time I was eating, I was just like, so gross. Did you still drink the water? <laughs> he did drink the water. <laughs> he did. He drank the water. I totally just thought about that. I think he caught himself because I remember him drinking it and being like, shit. And then he got up to put him back in. And then the motherfucker almost came out again. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, oh, what is this? And that was that. 
that was Unfortunately, that's our surprise guest. <laughs> hey, we gotta start over. Are we gonna do the whole thing? Yeah, we gotta start over. I wish you guys would have recorded this. <coughs> My phone was in the side by side. That was the yeah. least of my worries at the time. The I was trying to kill this animal. Where am I at? What did Kenyon do? <clears throat> I took my hat off. It was backwards. Oh, yeah. Took his hat off and he ripped off the grass, laid his hat down, and then he had to fold the grass over and get his knife and try to cut the roots off the damn grass plant. <laughs> that was kind of cool, though. <laughs> and then he puts his hat on like this <laughs> with his poke <laughs> on feather sticking up. He goes, wait, that's not working. Does it again, and they go like this. <laughs> he goes, is that better? Said, One come down in front of me like this. <laughs> oh, no, you gotta get Let's make like it that. better, and it goes, that's not gonna work. So now he gets a second one, and he puts it in back here. And I swear, <laughs> like, like a damn Indian fan. Oh, and I swear we went for another 50 yards with him like this. Push. <laughs> Hope you know. He'll never see me. He'll never see me. Yeah. I wish I would. Oh, that would be oh, great. That's... We recreate that tomorrow. <laughs> All 42 cows in the pasture <laughs> that stand. They thought we were right. Mm -hmm. And they stand in front. And I pulled Nimit with the. Ah. Oh, I was literally prone down, yardage, windage, everything doped good. Getting ready to squeeze And the here tree. comes the cows walking in front. Oh, shit. And stops. <laughs> so after I run them off, it looks at you. Working. They barricade. We so, relocated behind the side. So Alpha Buck has also trained the cattle. Evidently, yes, yes. So we relocate behind the side by side. They get started again. Range, windage, dope, elevation, whole nine yards. All right, Kenyon, look at those first up. I got them. Third one from the left. You're ready. I'm ready. Look over and over. Cow walked right into his scope and stopped and looked at me. Number 53, I could see her right there. And just looked like, hey, you taking pictures? Hey. This is my good side. Mm. Y'all need more space to 